Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to read a new story, and it is called Clever Sticks, written by Bernard Ashley and illustrated by Derek Brazell. So here we go. Clever Sticks. Oh, and there's our friend looking at the window. I wonder how he feels. Let me see that little bird here. Everything on the outside is so beautiful. Let's see what happens. Ling Sung started school on Monday. But on Wednesday morning, he decided he didn't want to go anymore. There were too many things the others could do that he couldn't, like tying up his shoes. Terry could do his, and he kept undoing them and doing them up again while everyone had to watch. Ling Sung tried to do his, but his fingers got tangled up and the laces kept going their own ways. Well, that happens when we're learning. Right? Manjeet knew how to write her name. She wrote it on all her things, and she painted it on her paintings even bigger than the picture. Miss Smith and Mrs. Dangel gave her a clap, and she held it up for everyone to see. Ling Sung tried to write his name, too, but he wasn't sure how to do the letters or which way the writing had to go. The one thing Ling Sung could do came at home time. Very carefully, he buttoned up his coat, but when he finished, he had a button over, and his coat was all up on one side. Sharon did hers perfectly, and Miss Smith and said, wasn't she clever? She didn't say anything about Ling Sung, but just did up his coat properly while she talked to Sharon's dad. Ling Sung didn't want to go to school ever again. He wanted to spend the whole day doing things he liked, watching the red-nosed clowns in the park, doing head over heels for the cat, splashing his mom at the pool, and bathing his little sister. But the next day, there he was at school again. At biscuit time, Annis showed everyone how he could tie up his overall at the back all by himself. Ling Sung couldn't even do the apron with the Velcro tabs. He turned his back on everyone. He was fed up with clapping other people for the things they could do. Why couldn't he be good at something too? Ling Sung. I bet you there's something cool he can do. He saw two long paintbrushes. Someone hadn't put them in the jar. Ling Sung fiddled with them and didn't pay attention when the biscuits came around. He nearly dropped his plate and his biscuits broke into pieces. Uh -oh. Terry pointed at him and laughed. You look like a clown juggling that plate, he said. Red noses, said Ling Sung, and made a clown face. He put both the brushes into one hand and chopsticked the biscuit pieces into his mouth, the way he ate at home. Miss Smith suddenly clapped. Oh, look, everyone. Look what Ling Sung can do. Isn't that clever? She was really pleased. Do it again, Ling Sung. Can anyone else use chopsticks? But no one could. Oh, where's the camera? Said Mrs. Dangel. Ling Sung knew just how to hold the chopsticks and how to hold his plate close to his mouth. When he was small, it had been hard to do, but now he didn't even think about it. Everyone wanted to be shown how to do it. It wasn't easy. Show us again, Ling Sung, they shouted. How excited the boys and girls are to learn something new. That's awesome. Ling Sung helped the teachers too. They were dropping biscuit all over the place. They laughed and tried again. I can nearly do it, said Miss Smith. That's important, right? That we continue to try. We don't give up. We keep trying until we persevere. Then Ling Sung got them to show him how to do their best things. Manjeet helped him with his writing. Down and along, she said. That's an L. An S for Sung 
is one big snake. Terry showed Ling Sung how to do his laces. Round like this, and don't let go. And Sharon told him how to do up his coat properly. You don't start in the middle. Start top or bottom, then go down or come up. Easy. Ennis did up Ling Sung's apron for him. So tight that he could hardly breathe. <laughs> See Ling Sung's face. Ling Sung couldn't wait to tell his dad when he met him after school. He could do something for the others to clap. Ah, a real clever sticks, his dad said. <laughs> and there he goes. Okay, proud and excited for himself. Great job, Ling Sung. <laughs>